It's time now for the Peter Chow Morning News on this Friday morning, June 5th, 2015. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. This lovely Friday morning, June the 5th, 2015. Here now, you do the here at Tucks right here at 8.23 here on this. Friday morning is in Singapore. Whoever was behind the latest FIP, the personal data from U.S. government computers, they appear to be bought a new trend set by cyber criminals, targeted increasingly valuable medical records and personal files. Recovery teams used on a huge grade lifted a capsized river cruiser out of the Yangtze River Friday to ease the search of for more than 340 people still missing the Chinese state CCTV reported. In Oakland, it took a half, but Clay Thompson came out that bat swinging in Game 1 in NBA Finals on Thursday night at the Cal Arena as a Golden State Warriors defeat the Clay Cavaliers in overtime. 108 to 100 as they take a one game down and lead to this best of seven series. British tourists were among more than 130 climbers left stranded out of Warrior Mountain after a 6.0 magnitude earthquake struck near Malaysia's Mount Kinabo on Friday. In Elmau, Germany, world leaders, including President Barack Obama, will be guarded by 17,000 police officers when they arrive high in the southern German Alps for two days of meetings at the G7 summit this weekend. Romanian anti-corruption prosecutors said on Friday that they had launched a criminal investigation against Prime Minister Victor Pata David. The EPA has really subdued report of the effects of hydraulic fracture of fracking on drinking water and both out of the kids of critically oil gas drill technique claim vindication. Oil prices turned higher as OPEC stands firm. In London, European shares extended loss of Friday on track for the worst week of the year as a loser streak for bonds rubbled on, with where investors anticipated more Greek drama and a All right, Dow Jones closed 1705.58, down 170.69, SP5 at 29584, and Nasdaq 5059.12. In Nashville, onlookers of all ages surrounded Nashville's newly renovated Walt Cafe Park Garden. Tuesday to catch a clip of two very different stars, Nashville Rock and Jack White and Country. Music legend, Loretta Lynn. Washington, global warming has not stopped or even slowed in the past 18 years, according to a new federal study that read up three months. Adapters who have claimed that they have heated trends of falls. Scientists have announced a new method to monitor the quality of air and water in real time with one system. In Seoul, South Korea, the South Korean government on Friday invited a new hospital where it said, Most of the country's known cases of, <coughs> <coughs> cases of Middle East respiratory syndrome have originated saying that it was trying to find everyone who had been there during. And a look at sports there, the Boston Red Sox. Fall to the Minnesota Twins in a frustrating night at Fenway Park yesterday, 8-4. The Boston Red Sox opened up a three-game weekend series starting the night against the Oakland Athletics. Peter Jell Dusan, 826. Time out for a travel report here on this. Randy Warren in here, Route 24 in the south front side. It slowed from Route 44 in Raymond to Route 140 in Taunton. 140 in the north front side slowed before Route 24 in Taunton. That's because we got an accident on Route 24 in the south front side. After Route 44 to Rainham, so expect them lays here. 295 to the southbound side is sold for Route 44 to Route 6 adjusted. 95 to the southbound side is sold for Tekka down for downtown Providence. 95 to the northbound side is sold for Route 37 in Cranston all the way up to downtown Providence here. 146 to the southbound side is sold for Route 15 to down for downtown Providence here. 195 to the westbound side is sold from Seacall Car to downtown Providence because doing an exit on 195 to the westbound side around Route 44 in Rome. East Providence, so expect them lays here. Rope.
Southfield Expressway in the North Mountain. It is slow from 203 all the way up to downtown Boston here. Tip O'Neill Tunnels. Slow from the Mass Park all the way up to Zaken Bridge. 93 in the South Mountain side. Slow from Center Square in Somerville. And Medford all the way up to the Zaken Bridge doing an accident. 93 in the South Mountain side. Route 16 in Medford. So expect some lays here. One ninety five is up on side. It's slow for Marber. All the way up to Route Nine in Worcester. And take a look at the MBTA alerts here. Blue line, spirits are running the westbound delays with a stable train at airport station. On the Camille Rail, it is. Come here, rails looking good, and the ferries are looking good here. Mass Park in the east band side, it is slow from the Austin Brand Tolls. Mass Park in the west band side, slow for Newton. Mass Park east band, slow before 128 in Weston here. Route 3 in the north band side, slow for the Brain Tree. Alright, let's take a look at the weather forecast here. Day forecast. It goes like this. For today, Park says guys are about 69 degrees. Calm wind becoming. Southeast red, 6 miles by the afternoon. For that, slight check the showers after 1 a.m. Petri bog after 2 a.m. was. Most guys got low about 6, 54 degrees. Calm wind, chance of space at 20%. Saturday, Petri bog before 7 a.m. was. Mostly gas cars are going to be covered. Most size cars about 32 degrees. Northeast with about 69 miles an hour. Check with gas size 24 miles an hour here. For Saturday, most gas cars are about 44 degrees. North with about 3 to 5 miles an hour here. For Sunday, size cars about 70 degrees. Northeast with about 5 miles an hour. We got a lot of variable in the afternoon here. Saturday night, patch rock after 4 a.m. Most park cars are going to about 48 degrees. Monday, chance of showers after 3 p.m. Patch rock before 9 a.m. Most park size cars about 70 degrees. Chance of space 30 percent. Monday night, showers actually patch rock after 10 p.m. Otherwise, mostly cars got low about 60 degrees. Chance of precipitation 6 percent. Tuesday, chance of showers. Most cars got about 78 degrees. And chance of precipitation 3 percent. So that, most cars got low about 59 degrees. Wednesday, most cars got about 78 degrees. About 38 degrees. And for Thursday, most cars got about 81 degrees. 
Norton temperature standing at 52 degrees with first guy. That's green for the Peter Gel Morning News on this. Friday morning. June the 5th, 2015. Peter's here. Have a good day. I'll see you later. Bye, buddy.